Hi guys, welcome to my channel. How are you all? Today we are going to discuss about the ashes that made trees bloom. The fourth lesson in seventh English. This is the lesson plan in LIP model. Okay, let's start. First we write class, subject English, name of the teacher, Govindamma. You write your name here. We write the topics names here. The ashes that made trees bloom. Chivi poem and Chandini, the supplementary lesson. And topics or lesson. Name of the periods, timeline from to you write you according to your dates and objectives or specific information. Before you read our introduction, we need one period to provide base knowledge and motivate towards the lesson. The ashes that made trees bloom, we need 8 to 9 periods able to read and understand the text. Working with the text, we need 2 periods, students able to answer the questions. Working with the language, we need three periods, students able to learn conversations, double H questions, articles, etc. In speaking and writing part, we need two periods, students able to learn and write narration and story writing. For Chivi, the poem, we need one or two periods, students able to understand, read and recite the poem. Working with the poem, two periods, students able to prepare some rules for grown-ups. Supplementary related Chandini, we need three to four periods, students able to understand and answer the questions. Next, prior concept skills. Students read textual and non-textual material, infer the meanings of new meanings or new words, express opinions, ideas, feelings in speaking and writing exercises, learn and write articles, narration, and story writing, write the fill in the blanks, read and recite the poem. In learning outcomes, student engages in reading text, answer on his own, learn and practices articles, story writing, learn and practice hints, reading, narration, double H questions, Understand the poem for pleasure. Understand the grammar and apply in daily life. Okay, next teaching learning process. For motivation, we ask the questions like, Do you have pets? What's your father? Have you seen former and forms? What animals do you find in forms? How do you know or treat pets, neighbors, workers, etc.? Reflection or students' involvement. How do you name your pet or what do you name your pet? How do you play with your pets? You see, wicked people, how do you feed your pet? In this mind mapping, we will give the concepts of fourth lesson. Next, teacher activity, group work, individual activity, I do, we do and you do. Explain about the characters, theme, explain the lesson, I initiate discussion and vocabulary, I initiate teaching double H questions, I explain dialogue writing, I explain prefix and suffixes, I explain articles and usage, I explain and revise the topics, narration, etc. Discussion on characters, discussion on theme and roles, effect, discussion on new vocabulary, discussion on double H questions, discussion on dialogues, discussion on prefixes and suffixes, discussion on articles and usage, discussion on narration and story writing, discussion on reading of the text and supplementary reader. Next, individual activity, you do activity, students understand the characters, they understand the theme and try to answer on their own, they learn new vocabulary. Learn dialogue writing and write dialogues. Learn prefixes and suffixes. Learn articles and usage. Learn and write narrations. Learn new words. Read stuff and poem. Okay. To mention the poem and supplementary reader separately, I write like this. So, the poem, Chivi. I explain the poem. I read the poem and recite with the proper stress and intonation. In the group discussion, discussion on poem and recite. Discussion on actions and discussion on actions and instructions. Discussion on new words. Students learn the new words. Read the poem with the correct pronunciation. Recite the poem for pleasure. Supplementary reader Chandini. I explain the lesson theme. Discussion on lesson theme and comprehension. Students read, understand the lesson and learn new words. Try to answer on their own. So understanding questions. First factual questions. What was the former? What is meant by diamos? What did the old man find in the place? Next, open-ended or critical thinking questions. Why did the neighbors kill the dog? If you had to make some rules for grown-ups to follow, what would you say? Student practice questions. What did the dog, what did the dog do to lead the farmer to the hidden gold? Next, assignment. Why did the diamo reward the farmer but punish his neighbor for the same act? And finally, we write notes. Students participated well in transactions. Students understand the feelings. Next, sign of the teacher, sign of the visiting officer and sign of the HM. After every lesson plan, I am giving 
much space here because if there is any training in the middle of the academic year or any changes in the academic year you can write that modifications here okay that's why i am leaving much space after every lesson plan if you like this video subscribe my channel like and share thank you